What up, y'all? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Rons. You're now watching Rons Cooking Up. <laughs> I'm gonna flip it on the back side. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to cook up some salmon. Not just any salmon. I'm talking about a pan said garlic butter teriyaki glazed salmon. I said a pan said garlic butter teriyaki glazed salmon. All right, that's not just your regular salmon, it's different. You know what I mean? So I wanna thank you guys for clicking the link and checking me out. And uh, let's get cooking up. All right guys, first of all, I got a confession. I don't wanna let you know that I like my salmon butt naked. A lot of y'all might be asking like, what, what, butt naked? Like, I like skinless salmon. I don't like skin on my salmon. Some people like skin, some people don't. Me, I like it naked, butt naked. So, with that being said, I'm gonna show you guys how to take this skin off this salmon real easy. I'm gonna show you how to undress the salmon. It's almost like the salmon got like a gray lingerie on, but I'm just gonna take it off real nice and slow. <laughs> All right, this is the trick. You get you a pot of water and you boil it until it's bubbling like you're about to make coffee. Get it hot to the point where it's steaming and you put the salmon face down ass up, okay? The skin facing up. And you're just gonna pour this hot water on the skin of the salmon. Do not burn yourself. And if you clumsy, do not try this at home. Salmon should shrivel up a little bit. You see the salmon shrivel up? Your water's hot enough. If you don't see that salmon shrivel, the water's not hot enough. Boil it again. <laughs> Before you undress your baby, you might want to take a little sip of something. Now, mind you, this is like a dress after your girl came home from the nightclub and she feeling a little nice. This is how you want to take the same skin off. Just like this. Butt naked. <laughs> All right, y'all, so as you can see, after I finished stripping my salmon butt naked, I put it in the hot tub, a little bowl of water. You know what I'm saying? The water's not hot, okay? It's like lukewarm, room temperature. It's lemon water. Uh, the reason why I like to do that is because um, it takes away a little bit of that fishiness. Um, salmon doesn't have a lot of fishiness to it, but some people hate the fishiness the taste and the lemon juice helps take away from that. So I let that sit in there for a couple of minutes. And while that sits, I cut up my onions, my peppers, and I have my spinach here, and I'll get that ready for the sauteed onions and peppers that I'm gonna make alongside with the sink. After you take it out the lemon water, you wanna just let it dry a little bit. You don't want the salmon to be too wet before you start seasoning it. So it's almost like you just got out the shower, but you don't got a towel. Just let it air dry, five minutes. Because if you let it dry up and you put it on the pan, you get a better crust on the outside, you know what I'm saying? That outside just be a little bit more crispy. So wait for your salmon to dry a little bit before you start applying the seasonings. And I'm show you guys what seasonings to use. Salt just a little bit. Just a little bit of the salt, please. Garlic powder. You know what, honestly, you could go crazy with the garlic powder. I'm not even mad at you if you do. This is butter garlic pan seared teriyaki salmon. So this is the garlic powder, like it ain't gonna hurt nobody. This garlic powder ain't gonna do nothing but make you sneeze, okay? All right. And get all corners, please don't discriminate. Get all four corners, okay? It's a little bit of pepper, it's a little bit of pepper. If I, had to, if I had to put it on the scale, I would say one to 10, put about a six of the pepper on, six. This is the Old Bay. The Old Bay, sometimes it hits the salmon and it look like you automatically putting too much on it. You be like, whoa. God damn. 
I'm gonna say put it like a four. One out of ten, put a little four. And uh, this is a sad song. You need to be careful with this because this is too much swag right here. The sad song to have you speak in Spanish. Okay? And the way I did that, I'm gonna do that on the next side. Just the same way. Same way. I'm gonna show you why the leftover seasoning on the side is important because what you wanna do is just. We don't leave nothing unturned over here. Nothing is unturned. Keep track of what part is the skin. The skin is on the bottom, we putting the skin on first. All right, so you can't eat your salmon by itself, right? So we're making some sauteed spinach, some sauteed onions and peppers. And the first thing you wanna do with that, we'll grab your olive oil. You're gonna put this olive oil in the pan and let it heat up, okay? What I got right here is some minced garlic. What you're gonna do, add the minced garlic to the pan. Add your onions and your peppers, man. Add your onions and your peppers. So when you got the garlic, the onions, and the peppers going, guess what I'm about to go get? <laughs> Sasson and pepper. Come on, you shitting. Soon as these start to brown on both sides, that's a sign to add the spinach. After you get all your spinach on top, I'm gonna show you a trick. This will get all your spinach tasting good, better than root crisp spinach. I don't even have this spinach, and I know this is better than this spinach. Burr. More minced garlic, more black pepper. I got one more thing. I got one more thing. You know what it was? It was that sasson. Stop playing. You know what? Don't get too mad at it. Pay attention. Keep it on low. Saute it. Move the onions and the peppers on the bottom from to the top. Put it on top of your spinach so the spinach can shrink a little bit. All right, with this, you want to keep the uh, pan to a medium fire. Not too hot, not too low. I think medium is perfect. And add, always, always add a little olive oil to your pan. It's like, I like to give analogies. It's almost like putting lotion on your knees. Feel me? And your elbows. You got to put oil on the pan. It's the same thing. See how I laid it down? And once you get your salmon on that pan, don't touch it. Don't flip it. You don't want to flip it multiple times. Leave it like that. People say four minutes to five minutes to three minutes to three and a half minutes to two minutes. Just watch, pay attention. Don't neglect your salmon. Treat it like your child. So I told you I was gonna make pan seared garlic butter teriyaki glazed salmon. This is the sauce I'm using right here. And you're just gonna glaze your salmon. All right, guys, this is the finished product. Salmon, vegetables on the side. Or you can do it just like this, how I prefer, with the salmon on a bed of vegetables, sitting very comfortable. I feel like this salmon right here is in a deep sleep right now. It's, it's, it's on a very comfortable bed. The point of this whole cooking show is for my guys and my friends and my, my homegirls that don't really cook all the time just to cook something. I want to make it easy for you guys to do. Impress your friends, impress your family members. And fellas, if you got somebody that you really like, this dish right here, 
do that for them. Watch my video two, three times. Figure it out. Do this. Because I know this salmon comes with a side of uh, veggies, but my brothers, this salmon might come with something on the side that you might not even be expecting. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, y'all, that's it. I hope you guys like the outcome. Uh, if you guys decide to make that dish at home, leave it in the comments, let me know how it turned out. Hit me up on Instagram, Ron's Cooking Up. I wanna say I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment this video. Stay tuned for the next episode, Ron's Cooking Up.